My friends, it is the 2nd of August 2022 and I'm here in Sopot in Poland with behind me the Gulf of Kodansk and the Baltic Sea. Today we're going to catch a night train with PKP, Polish National Railway, from Warsaw to Graz in Austria and see how their sleeper service is. Thank you so much for joining in today and let's begin our trip. Welcome to the seaside resort city of Sopot. It's a wonderful place to spend time in during the summer holiday. Most tourists here are Polish and there aren't a lot of foreign visitors, but don't you worry, English isn't a problem here. Here you have lovely beaches, Europe's longest wooden pier and a gorgeous historic city centre. But enough about tourism, we're here for trains today. Our journey starts at Sopot. We're going to catch PKP's Express Intercity Premium to Warsaw for a Euronight train to Austria. The station of Sopot is combined with a small shopping mall. You can catch a train here to almost every major city in Poland. For the first ride, we are going to take EAP 5304 bound for Krakow. This service is operated by Pendolino trains and they are the exact same train type as you can find with Trenitalia, Italian Railway or the SPB Swiss Railway. Even the seat is exactly the same. Made it to Warsaw. We have some hours to kill before our next train, so let's head into the city. The Union Night Sleeper Train does not have a restaurant car and have just a limited catering. I recommend you to have a nice dinner before embarking on your journey. Behind the Sovitel Hotel, you'll find a nice restaurant called Informal Kitchen. It's my personal favorite in Warsaw. Pierogi is starter and pasta with cream sauce as main. If you want to visit the restaurant too, link is in the description below. Had a great dinner, let's head back to Warsaw Central Station. It's always busy at the Central Ticket Hall. Tonight we're going to travel with Euronight number 407 shopping from Warsaw to Graz. The train actually consists of multiple coaches with different destinations. Our one is combined with a part to Prague and another part to Budapest. We will travel together as one train to Bohemian in the Czech Republic before being split apart. Once on the platform, please pay close attention to where your part of the train will be, preventing yourself from a mad dash to the right coach. This will be my home for the coming night. I've booked a spot in the double deluxe cabin because Solo wasn't available. We'll have a closer look at the cabin a little later in the video. Departure out of Warsaw Central is on time. We make a brief stop at Warsaw Sachotnia before setting course to Krakow. Departed out of Warsaw and on our way to Graz. I have a roommate, so I need to be very careful with filming, but luckily he's fine with it. Time to explore the PKP Deluxe Sleeper Cabin. Door can be locked by two locks. Above the door, you'll find a control panel for the light and the intercom volume. At your bed, you'll find a cup holder and a net to store simple items, power socket, and a control panel for the light. But the reading light is broken. You can also find a non-functional TV in your room. You have a bathroom, complete with toilet, wash basin and shower. Oh, and the light, that also does not function here. There is a closet with hangers next to the broken TV. You'll find some snacks and drinks to enjoy while you're unable to watch your favorite movies. The bin is at the window and a climate control is also over there.
Now over to the amenity kit. It consists of a hand towel, shower gel and two wet wipes. The list with broken things continues because I wanted to take a shower, but then disappointment struck. There was no water coming out of the shower at all. Well, this means no shower for me tonight. Oh well. Oh well, alternative shower it is. It's 22.12 when we arrive at Krakow and after a stop of 37 minutes, we are heading for the Czech Republic. My roommate is already sleeping, so it's time to turn off the lights and have a good night's rest. Good travels. And to you. Thank you. Thank you. A very good morning. It is just after 7 o'clock and we've left Vienna main station. My roommate left me there as well and he is on his way to Switzerland. So I wish him all the best and safe onward travel. Now let's talk about the sleep quality. The mattress is fairly thin, but it also feels harder compared to the Nightjet or Czeske Drei sleeper car. Personally, I can sleep well on hard mattresses, but do keep this in mind when choosing for a PKP sleeper car. Nevertheless, I had a decent sleep of at least 6 hours last night. Breakfast consists of one hot drink, some ray bread and basic condiments. We've reached the Semering Railway, one of the oldest mountain railways in the world. It opened in 1854 and since 1998 it even became a UNESCO World Heritage Site. You'll be up for some great scenery. Enjoy the ride! We arrive at Brukanamur, meaning we are almost in Graz, and that's who kept the journey. PKP sleeper cars aren't in the best state in 2022. Many things don't function aboard, and the mattress is rather thin. For this trip, I used my interrail pass, and the reservation fee for the deluxe sleeper car was 79 euros. Should be cheaper with so many things broken. Nevertheless, I enjoyed this trip with this train, especially the morning ride over the Semmering Railway. And that was Euronight from Warsaw in Poland. To Graz in Austria. Thank you so much for coming along today. Take care guys and we'll see each other in the next video.